some prophet from Canada wrote me this awesome letter. And um, I, I, I'm not sure exactly what I said, but something, someone that probably asked me how I felt about the Sabbath, and I just felt that, you know, I was just quoting what Paul says, all days are like, and, you know, I just have freedom, you know, to, um, if I want to worship another day, it's okay. This is his response, and I love it. Brother Paul, I have watched many, many of your videos. They have been a great blessing, both practically and spiritually. For that, I give you a heartfelt thank you. I'm especially thankful for the freedom you, sp you spoke of when asked about the fourth commandment to remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. I recently informed my wife that I will begin sleeping with other women because of this newfound freedom I have to I have to disregard the seventh commandment that says thou shalt not commit adultery. Come on, Paul, let's be real for a minute. If a person says they have free, Christian freedom to take the Lord's name in vain or to steal or any of the nine commandments, it sounds completely ridiculous. God is not inconsistent. Commandments um, Number number four is buried in the list of the Ten Commandments. <laughs> Here is the mistake many, many are making today. A major theme running through the New Testament is about Paul and the other apostles speaking against the Judaizers. These Judaizers were basically saying that we had to earn, earn our salvation by keeping various laws and rules. I, I, I know you realize that the Bible clearly teaches that salvation is a free gift from God and cannot be earned, but the New Testament is equally clear, clear that the salvation does not do away with God's law. Romans 3.31 After explaining all about salvation by faith, Paul says, Do we then make void the law through faith? Certainly not. On the contrary, we establish the law. It's simple, Paul. We don't seek harmony with God's law in, in order to be saved. We, we are free from... The Judaizers, we seek harmony with God's law because we are we are saved and we love Him and love His ways. I believe you have been lied to and and now believe the lie. The Ten Commandments are are connected to an old and dated system of salvation. But the truth is, there has always only been one system of salvation. Hebrews 11 gives a list of many Old Testament characters saved by the only way ever possible by faith. You have also been lied to about who Israel truly is. If you understand that you are an Israelite, you would know the Ten Commandments, and 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 for you to know, to point out, point out your sin, to lead you to Christ, and to reveal God's character of love for all eternity. As a last note, the Sabbath was represent, repeated on, on Mount Sinai for Israel, but it was not born there. It was made for all mankind at creation before there was ever a, a nation of Israel, and will be honored for all eternity. Brother Paul, you have clearly been been blessed by God, and much greater blessing awaits you as you begin to carefully regard the, tenth, the fourth commandment as much as you already do the other nine. May God continue to bless you and your family. Cian, I want to thank you, Cian, for this letter. I really appreciate I mean, your openness, and it's just it's so right. And um, I've repented. My wife for years has been asking me to keep the Sabbath. She went to Israel, and she brought back this amazing... Um, video by this guy who was explaining explaining the Torah the Torah and the the, the, the um, fourth commandment and I repented and for quite a few months now I've been keeping the Sabbath so I want you to know I completely received that I repented and thank you. <laughs>